Governor, are you a feminist? I'm not going to label myself anything, Brian, and, and, and I think that's what annoys a lot of Americans, especially in a political campaign, is to start trying to label uh, different parts of America, different um, uh, different backgrounds, different... Um, uh, I'm not going to put a label on myself. Do you consider yourself a feminist? I do. A feminist who uh, believes in uh, equal rights, and I believe that uh, women certainly today have every opportunity that a man has to succeed and, and to try to do it all anyway. But first, we've got just one more thing. Since I am standing in a stadium, I felt like I had to do a baseball story. At a rally in Erie, Pennsylvania today, Sarah Palin tried to earn some points with the locals by giving a shout out to the Philadelphia Phillies, who clinched the World Series last night. I am thrilled to be here in the home state of the world champion, Philadelphia Phillies. Yeah, that's booing that you're hearing. Governor, Pennsylvania is really big, and Erie is way up in the northwest corner, like near Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh Pirates turf. Maybe this map will help. You've, uh, you've got your Phillies over uh, here, and you've got your Pirates over here, and after saying what you said, 21 electoral votes could go right here. Then at a San Francisco fundraiser, the governor rightly praised our troops in Afghanistan for trying to rebuild society there and then made another whopper. Quote, they are also building schools for the Afghan children so that there is hope and opportunity in our neighboring country of Afghanistan. Yeah, you got your Mexico here and your Canada here and your Afghanistan. That's not neighboring anywhere. Or maybe she meant neighboring as in neighbor to Iraq, but, but gosh, you got your Iraq here, and then your Iran here, and then your Afghanistan over here. Or maybe she meant neighbor country. Or maybe she meant like a good neighbor state farm is there. <laughs> I'm reading on my Starbucks mocha cup, okay? The quote of the day. You'll never believe what the quote was. It was Madeleine Albright, former Secretary of State and UN Ambassador. And Madeline has as her quote of the day for Starbucks. Now, she said it. I didn't. She said, there's a place in hell reserved for women who don't support other women. into whatever it'll be turned into tomorrow in the newspaper. Stumped on the stump, Governor Palin speaking in California. I'm reading on my Starbucks mocha cup, okay? The quote of the day, it was Madeleine Albright, former Secretary of State and UN Ambassador. Now she said it, I didn't. She said there's a place in hell reserved for women who don't support other women. First of all, you go to Starbucks and you drink mochas? Isn't that a little elitist? Anyway, uh, no, on the quote, Ms. Albright said, and so did the cup, there's a place in hell reserved for women who don't help other women. So now we know, A, the governor's reading skills are a little lacking, and B, one of her infinite number of daily news sources is her Starbucks cup. Those Americans are struggling under the weight of the wrong mortgage.